day the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion, uh, 30 years later, happened uh, last week. And one of the things that was very significant during that time was the reunion between Will Smith and the first Aunt Viv, uh, Janet Hubert. And so one of the things that you and I talked about was uh, reconciliation and really the power of that. Um, so what were your thoughts when you saw that scene, saw that moment? I thought, I thought it was dope. Um... And I thought it was needed. You know, I got an opportunity to meet her um, like seven years ago um, at, at the Atlanta Theater Festival. You know, I was covering it uh, as media. And um, I started following her a little bit more after I got a chance to meet her. And she was really pissed off at Will, you know, for years. And she openly, you know, talked about how he contributed to ruining her career and things of that nature. And I really didn't understand what that was about. And um, according to Will, he didn't really understand it either. Um, but then, you know, here they are um, 30 years later or 27 years later being able to reconcile. And I thought that was cool. But one of the things about life, you know, it made me think about, you know, I just put out a book a year ago. You know, it wasn't about reconciliation, but it was about a lot of issues that I had in my past, even with individuals um, that I had, that it came out in that book. And one thing it made me think about is that that's something that has to happen. Sometimes you're not going to actually be able to reconcile with the individual, but you got to have reconciliation of that circumstance, even with, if it is within yourself, in order for you to move on. You know, you cannot move on you cannot forgive someone. I just learned this recently, you know, because I, I've struggled with forgiveness. I, I can't, I, I really don't even like the thought of it because of everybody who usually telling you that is the ones that's doing the greasy stuff to people. You know what I'm saying? It's like that saying when people say, um, it's just business or it's not personal. It's usually the person that did something shady to somebody else who says that. And, you know, it's hard to say it's just business. I mean, it's not um, personal, it's just business. When somebody put all, everything they got on the line for that deal or for that business. And so it is a level of personal in that. And that's not me. I feel like it's not being acknowledged. So I never wanted to put myself in that space where I'm I'm being greasy to somebody in that, in, in, in that manner. But, and then so from the forgiveness track, you know, people always say you gotta forgive. I'm like, no, but they didn't apologize to me. They don't feel bad for what they did to me they didn't you know like why am i do i need to talk to them again why shouldn't i why do i gotta feel good towards them just because and it wasn't until after i finished my book when i realized how much it bothered me no matter what they did or didn't do it bothered me to still be in that space it was something i had to let go of it didn't mean I had to be cool with them anymore. It didn't mean I had to talk to them anymore. It didn't mean I had to do anything of the sort like people would say. It just meant that I had to truly let it go and get past it. Get it out however I needed to get it out, but I had to get past it in order for me to move forward and do the things I need to do because it would have held me back. And so looking at these celebrities, you know, um, it don't matter how much money Will has and he still feels a way about how people look at him and how he's perceived. And so through living through some, some more life, he understood like he didn't want to feel like people looked at him in, in that way. And I think that the, the, um, the lady Janet was like, I can't continue to feel this way about Will because I'm feeling the way about him. It's not affecting his growth. It's just affecting mine. And so I think it was an amazing lesson to learn and for all of us like you know at the end of the day whatever happened to you five years ago 20 years ago 50 years ago whatever the case may be you got to find a way to fix that you know everybody have a thorn in their side or something they cross the bear and they think they have to carry on with them and that's fine but you got to find a way to still move forward even while carrying that that cross or having that stone in your side you cannot stay still and, and sit there and cry and complain about what happened to you 10, 15, 30 years ago. You have to move on uh, from that. And reconciliation is the first step 
for that within yourself. If it's possible with the people that you had the issue with or a family member or whatever. But rec reconciliation is the first place that you got to go with that in order for you to go forward with your life.